All right, so let's talk, okay, the little, the little uh, thought for the day is the duality that gets us into non-duality. So the idea is with, with this distance healing is that it's, we're accessing information. Now this is all like metaphorical, so don't get too hung up, hung up just like fairy tales are true. What I'm saying is also true, you know, from a certain perspective. So the word non-dual can mean different things for us, but it's just a place beyond anything that we can manage with cause and effect. And yet we can still interact with it, and we do every day all the time. It's not this like, you know, you don't have to be dead to be non-dual. <laughs> um, and I'm not even sure you are a non-dual if you're dead, but um, anyway. Um, all right, so if we're going to access this information field, what do you do? do because as soon as you start doing too much you stop you get in the way of something that is beyond management so a nice metaphor for this is the masculine and the feminine so you could say that the masculine is the spark of the doing that impregnates the feminine so that this would be like the idea of oh i want to heal and then you do something like you attend this lecture and you follow the guided visualization that I'm going to do in a few minutes and that catalyzes something it just sparks a whole automatic process and yes you needed that deed but all that big process is happening under the radar um, like I I've had I have two daughters and when I was pregnant I really didn't know how their little legs and arms and eyes and livers and all that were being being done it was all happening automatically and I felt like I was participating in the miracle of life but there's no way I could manage it I didn't have that apparatus and I would suggest that with healing we don't have the apparatus to do all that either all we can do is be that spark and then really be the container for it so um, let's think about if, if the masculine spark ignites the feminine seemingly automatic process of gestating a healing let's focus on the feminine part because that's the receiving part and we're here today to do a deed but that's that's easy because you're going to follow my words the part where you come in is how to receive how to do that automatic thing that more feminine if you will thing and i'm a chinese medical person so everything's yin and yang masculine and feminine this whole so if this is like a different language just enjoy it um, let's see, so three ways to work with your feminine. One is to resonate. Don't be a channel or a transfer of the healing energy. So we're going to, in a few minutes, we're going to visualize going around a little pond and, you know, I'm going to say the names of the healies and I want you just to witness, just watch. I don't want you to zap the people with, with light or love even. You can be grateful and notice how that grateful lands, but the gra gratitude is without any strings attached at all. You don't, you're just grateful to be there with and watching their process. Um, a night like a, okay, so in energy medicine, there are a lot of masculine type energy therapies. So like, for example, acupuncture, if I put a needle in somebody and I'm an acupuncture, so when I put a needle in someone, I'm actually doing something and I'm manipulating their chi and I'm trained to know how to like get the balance going and what the acupuncture points do and it's actually a very masculine deed that I'm doing when I'm doing acupuncture. Also when we do qigong, which is a Chinese uh, guided visualization technique, um, you would say that that's more masculine because you're like having this ball of light go around your body and you're coordinating it with your breathing and your movement. But if um, the more passive would be um, like my acupuncture patient. If she's laying on the table getting needled, she's just hoping that I know what I do, I'm do, i doing and receiving it. And it's actually a very powerful stance to have. And if she's busy telling me like, no, fix my deficient liver, you know, or, or like this other acupuncturist told me that my spleen is deficient, like kind of gets in the way, right? Because I need them to, to just receive what I have to offer. All right, so that brings us to number two, which I've already kind of started explaining, which is to be passive. 
Now, it doesn't mean that women are passive. It just means that compared to the masculine, the feminine, the yin and the yang, the yang is active, the yin is passive, or is passive. Um, now, there are a lot of positive thinking healers out there, and positive thinking is um, wonderful. We, it's good to be positive, but it's actually very directive. And so you can be positive like, oh, I hope this works. But once we're actually inside the guide of visualization, I'd like you just to be observant. And this will help you receive what's there to be received. If you're managing it by trying to be really reverent or being really positive or believing it really fervently, or even believing it in a relaxed way, you're, you've lost your curiosity. I mean, you can be curious, but the idea is just to really be passive. You don't know how to heal consciously. You just, you we're just, experimenting so we're curious all right and just be yourself here and now um when i first went to my first cancer cure i um it shocked me because i was still very much myself with all my human frailties and it was like oh if i could if i if i somehow facilitated this cancer cure how why can't i you know lose weight or you know do do some of these other things that, that felt so much like they should be so much easier than curing cancer um and it's because i didn't i could just be myself and help so you're off the hook you and even the people that i've cured they're still off the hook they're not necessarily enlightened they don't walk on water they still have all their human frailties um they're just cancer free and happy about that so just being yourself is i think the reason why that's so powerful is because it's honest and when we can honestly just let our let the present moment be the present moment you know warts and all it's it's more powerful than when we're trying to be something we're not it's more when we're trying to be something we're not that's that masculine impulse or that yang impulse to change and forge ahead and it's okay but when you're receiving a healing just be here now all right just be present Assume your conscious mind doesn't know what, be, be curious, um, be present with a capital P. So it's any activity you have is that you're really, you're not staring at the healing, but you're just, okay, I'm, I'm showing up here and I'm doing my best to participate. All right. All right. Dorothy says, I hated it when I was diagnosed with cancer when people told me I had to do was think positive or that it was a battle and I never saw it as that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that whole duality it gets you locked in and then you're trying to manage it. And I can tell you that we kind of manage some things in our life, I'm not saying, but if we can get inspired from the non-dual, from the place of true freedom, that duality either shifts and disappears or we are able to take the next action that we do have the time, the money, and the consciousness for and life and healing gets easier. All right, yeah. Um, uh, Joseph says, maintain hope. Hope is great, all right? But, so when I'm healing somebody and this deep demon comes regurgitating out of their energy field, I can hope that that's a healing process and it often is, um, but if I, erase it with my hope like oh i hope that, that goes away it actually interferes with um i hope this shadow leaves i hope you're directing okay so you want to be as neutral as possible with your hope um to amplify the this passivity now you can be active all the rest of the time of your day you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to function if you were passive all the time but um for moments of the day we can be very passive it sets up this tremendous, wonderful polarity with the act. Like, it's almost like the less we do spiritually, the more the spiritual healing can happen. It actually engages polarity at, at a bizarrely fundamental level. Less is truly more. Truly, 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 truly more. So I've said that about 20 times. Should I say it a couple more times? Less is more. Don't fervently believe. Don't fervently cycle. Don't fervently follow the directions that I'm giving you keep it light okay and you'll notice that I'm kind of light 
when I um, when I give the, this get the guided visualization that we're going to do in a minute, and that's very much on purpose. All right. Okay. So hope can be a statement of duality, but we live in duality, right? So you want to be on the edge of surrender. Um, yeah. Okay. Right on the edge. So when I'm when I ask you to spin a spinning ball of light, I want you to spin it faster than you can think. So way faster than the color green, way faster than the speed of light, way faster than 20 times around the galaxy per second. It's like right on the edge where it, the speed has become still and it's hard to comprehend that. But you, you want to kind of go, if you're playing on that edge of nothing and then a little something, nothing and then a little something, um, I think that helps. And for me, the receptivity is the something like, oh, I just felt that. Oh, I just felt that relax. Oh, isn't that nice? Like, oh, that did this, this did that. It's almost like my body or my mind or my visions respond. And then I can interact in the duality, but I'm not managing it. I'm witnessing it. All right. Ingrid says, just try to accept it. Um, accept your situation and try to embrace it. You know, like the Stoics. Um, Peter says, hello, hi. Or be with what is, which is not the same as acceptance. Um, I think it's love of truth. So if I'm healing somebody and this big shadow, like a, I get an image of a wolf jumping out of their body or something, my left brain would say, oh, that's some deep buried aggressive emotional stuff that's, um, that's being, um, released out of their energy field. But I don't know that. So I just want to like, oh, I think that's a good thing. And then we observe later, the only level of accountability is, does the tumor go away? Does it get softer? Does the pain go away? Do you sleep better? Do you poop better? Do you, does your, your mind clearer? Like that's, that's really the only, that's the level of accountability. Everything else is trying to create a container for that automatic process to happen. And yeah, <laughs> Chris says it can be really challenging to spin that fast. Like, yep. All right. So you want to be at your edge, Chris. If it's if you're spinning about as fast as a bicycle, go a little faster. Go as fast as a blender. If you if you got the blender speed down, then go a little faster. Go as fast as the color green, which is way faster than a blender. If you've got the green down, then try to go faster than the speed of light feel what that feels like and you know there's these frequencies that go up 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 and then you can just start asking for to feel a frequency that's higher 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 now I don't I don't go into all that right now because that's sort of training on how to spin let's just just spin at any speed right now that was just a little thing hi Ying Ying all right great okay so let's begin our um our healing if you're watching this on YouTube um I'm gonna stop the, the. you're only gonna get part of this, you just get the teaching part. If you want to join us for the actual healing part, please join the Spirit Gate Cancer Support Facebook group and um, you'll be able to watch it later. If you are watching this later, you're very welcome. My dog is trying to get up. Hi, up, up, there you go. <laughs> I thought she was gonna sit and scratch for 10 minutes. Um, good old Annie. Um, Let's see, like and subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube. Um, it really helps me connect and helps me teach. And it really is kind of simple to do this. So let's notice if it helps us. Okay. Like you.